On this episode of Retro Car Guy 530, I'm going to go through and review the two different TPMS relearn tools that I was sent by VXDOS. And one is the two in one for Ford and GM vehicles, and the other is their Ultimate, which is good for multiple auto manufacturers. So let's get into it. A tire pressure monitoring system, thus the acronym TPMS, has been required to be present in vehicles sold in the United States for a long time. And that includes two different styles of systems. The earlier versions of the systems usually, or cheaper versions of the systems will be indirect. And that's where it's using the ABS wheel speed sensor to detect the rotational speed of each wheel location and compare it to the others. And when it sees a variance from one to the other wheels in the vehicle, it will then signal an event on the instrument panel, usually just the tire light, to say that, hey, there's something to go look at. That's not very accurate, especially if the tire pressures all go down at a common pace in all four wheel locations, then it may not even detect it. Later on, there was a direct version, and direct means that there is a sensor in each wheel location that transmits a unique identity string for the sensor, and also the current pressure value, and optionally the battery and temperature information. Most sensors I've seen over the last few years transmit all of that information, but the vehicle may not take advantage of all of it. It definitely looks at the sensor ID and the pressure information to accomplish the proper monitoring of the tire pressures in your vehicle. So with that, it needs to know where those are located. So if you have a display in your vehicle on instrument panel, it knows to put pressure for the front left, up in the front left. So it has to know the sensor ID that is associated with that wheel location. So if you rotate your tires or put new sensors in after the battery, because the batteries last uh, six to 15 years, I've seen a variety of ranges, but six to 10 years, somewhere in that range, the batteries will tend to deplete and the sensors need to be replaced at that point. You can't replace the batteries in them. You need to replace the whole sensor. So if you put brand new sensors that already have sensor IDs in them, the vehicle won't know what wheel is, it won't see the original IDs that it knew of, so it has to be told what those are. And that's what the TPMS relearn procedure is for. So in this case, the VXDOS tools that I was sent by VXDOS uh, free of charge. So these are free to me for the review, but I'm allowed to save whatever I find with these particular units. And we'll get into that in just a moment. But the whole procedure is pretty straightforward. You go through a procedure. I'm going to demonstrate a walk around procedure where you go to each wheel location, use one of these tools to trigger the sensor in each location, and then by waking up the sensor in that location, it will transmit that identity information. The vehicle will pick that up and know that front left is this ID, and then front right and rear right and rear left. So it knows where each sensor ID is located so it can properly report that information to you. And TPMS will warn you about low pressures. Usually with direct systems, it will be 25% under the cold inflation pressures. So look at the tag on your door frame or in your glove box, wherever that might be located in your vehicle for the cold inflation pressures. There's usually 25% below there is where it will start notifying you of a low pressure event. So if that's not to say this is the way you should monitor your tire inflations, but it's a great way to make sure that you have a rapid deflation of a particular tire to alert you to it. You should still do your monthly tire pressure checks just like any other vehicle would require whether it has it or not in the vehicle. So with this, we're going to look at the 2-in-1 from VXDOS and also the Ultimate and walk you around the vehicle. I'm going to take you to my 2014 Chevrolet Caprice Go through the that's a GM vehicle produced by the Holden division in Australia and I'll set this to GM mode and I'll walk through and do that with both of these tools and give you my results at the end. I'm going to start off with the two-in-one device and I'm going to switch this to the G for GM and then on my vehicle I have a 2014 Chevrolet Caprice PPV and I'm in the TPMS menu. I'm going to activate the TPMS relearn procedure and you would use whatever is appropriate for your vehicle. So I'm going to press and learn, press the button on the end there to go into the relearn mode, scroll up to yes. Tire learning active. So let's go out and use the two in one. I'm at the front left corner with the indicator light shows where I should be. I have the switch to G for GM products. I have the antenna adjacent to the TPMS sensor on the sidewall here. I'm going to press the triggering button. So it's indicated that it has triggered that sensor and the vehicle's received that info. Here we are at the front 
passenger side and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put the two in one on the sidewall adjacent to the TPMS sensor. And now we have the indicator light on the left, I'm sorry, the right rear. We're going to do the same thing in this location, press the trigger button. And then for the end one we have here in the driver's side rear, I'm going to place it again, TPM sensor on the sidewall here. And the vehicle's done, executed the double horn honk to say that it's completed the TPMS relearn. We're now going to use the ultimate version of this device, which I'm going to use the same vehicle, my 2014 Chevrolet Caprice PPV. I'm going to enter the TPMS relearn mode. Press the set learn button. It'll prompt, I'll scroll up and I'll say yes, and then it'll honk. So let's go out to the front driver's side wheel and get our lights on. I'm going to place this adjacent to the TPMS sensor at the sidewall. Turn on the device. All right, it's uh, activated that one. I'm going to turn it off. Indicator is in the front passenger side, so we're going to do the same thing over here. TPMS sensor is here. Turn on. Wait for it to send the right triggering signal for this particular sensor type, since this is really a multi-manufacturer tool. There we got it. Turn it off. All right, we're at the point where it's asking for the right rear, and I'm gonna do the same thing. TPMS sensor is here. Turn it on. Going through the various signals to find the right one for this vehicle. Turn it off. And we're here on the left rear, and we're gonna do the same thing. TPMS sensor is right here. Press the on button. And we completed successfully the TPMS relearn using the ultimate version of this device. It was very quick and easy to get the TPMS relearn procedure executed in my 2014 Chevrolet Caprice PPV. That is a GM vehicle, so that's why this two-in-one was able to work with it very quickly and easily. This supports GM and Ford products, and the Caprice vehicle that I have is produced by GM or Holden division of GM. And so I put it on the G for GM, and it triggered the sensor very quickly. And since it's focused on a particular vehicle manufacturer, that's why I was able to trigger the sensor a little bit quicker in each wheel than the ultimate version, which needs to go through a variety of manufacturer types to get the triggering signal sent out for each type. So this is a little quicker triggering each one, but it's just a matter of seconds between the two products. So with that, the only other caution I might give is in the instructions on the website, I found that there's a caution to remove the battery when not in use. You extract the battery from the rear of the sensor, the tool here and I did do an experiment over the last week. I put a fresh battery in it, let it sit for a week, making sure that nothing was pressing any buttons. It was just sitting there and sure enough, it did deplete the battery down to three and a half volts. So keep that in mind. This is in the mid you know, teens of $15, $16 range. So if you have Ford or GM vehicles, this might be the tool for you. If you're doing higher rotations, you can do it yourself. You don't have to rely on a shop or your dealership to go do it for you. You can do it yourself. Then with respect to the ultimate version here, this supports a wide variety of vehicle manufacturers. Again, the description section will have a list of what they currently state are supported vehicle manufacturers. And that's again why it did take a little longer to trigger the individual sensors. As you saw, I pressed the button and it took a few seconds before the acknowledgement signal, the horn honk took place a little bit longer than the two-in-one product. But that's to be expected since it has to go through a, a list of different triggering signals for the different vehicle manufacturers that it supports. That's the great point of this particular one. It cost around $31, $32 this, this point in time. And it may be worthwhile if you wanna make sure that you have a tool that works with a wide variety of vehicles. Again, check out the description section for what they currently document the list of manufacturers that this does work with. 
If your vehicle has a TPMS relearn procedure similar to the one I demonstrated in this video, then either the 2-in-1 or Ultimate products from VXOS might be the thing for you. You can then perform your own TPMS relearn procedures without going to a shop to have that performed, and, and only an investment in purchasing the tool one time. The 2-in-1 product again works with Ford and GM vehicles, and the Ultimate product works with Ford, GM, and several other vehicles. If you found the information in this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that bell notification to be notified when I upload new videos like this to the channel. Also, ch check out the description section for links related to the products in this video. I will have two Amazon affiliate links. If you use those to purchase either one of those products, I will make a commission, but at no extra cost to you. And check out all the other links and information in the description section. Thanks for coming to the channel. See you in the next one.